Uh, Saturday wasn't that. Things were going okay up until the depressor. Uh, it was pretty decent speed going over Le Mans and stood up a lot. I was surprised how many guys got dropped there already, but um, it was pretty. It was just fast from the bottom to the top. It wasn't like you know, those attacks or surges. It was just fast. And um, then going to the Chapressa, it was all good. Same as Chapressa, it seemed to be a steady speed. Uh, one or two guys attacked, but I mean, the guy actually you know, just stayed on the front and got their tempo. And then towards the top, there was a small crash, and uh, I didn't crash, but I got a little bit caught up behind it. And then I was too far back going into the downhill, which I didn't want. And then uh, after the downhill, it goes on to the main road and then just split up. And, Before, before that crash, were you thinking solely about that finish and, and the potential of it coming down to a sprint? I was surprised that they didn't actually. I was actually I thought liquid gas was going to really light it up already on the depressor, but um, it was still fast, but it was pretty bunched together, you know. And that's why I was I wanted to relax at the back. I wanted to save every little bit of energy I could, and didn't want to really fight for the position because as the, Last K of the depressor flattens out a bit, it's like only 1%, and uh, then I was going to just pass there, just to make it easier for me, because I knew, I knew I had to be in the front of the down because that's very important, and it's my own fault, I stuffed it up, so uh, I just really had to you know, learn from that and make it better for the future. Sure. If it hadn't been for that, that hold up in the crash, do you think, if it had come together, how do you would have done, or is it impossible to, to say? Oh, well, I would, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been in the top three there. No? No. So honest of you? Yeah, yeah, no, I've seen it on TV and that's just... And I mean, I really, I, I finished the race too and I, I know how I was feeling. I mean, I would have been, I think I was capable of race, uh, sprinting for fourth place, but... Um, just, yeah, I don't think it would have been there. Does it give you some bit more confidence than, say, last year when... Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's that's what I mean. Like, I was disappointed in the way, like positioning and stuff like that. But it wasn't like last year. Like last year, I just got up to the bus and I was just, my wob, you know, I just fell to bits because I just my, like I wasn't good enough. But this year, it's different. Like, I, even after the race, I didn't even feel like I did. Of course, you feel a little bit tired, but it's like not like I came into the bus and like, oh, fuck, this is the hardest race I've ever done. So that's why I'm, I'm really confident for the next race is coming up, and I just. Even tomorrow, I just want to go and smash, <laughs> just smash it, just race hard. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's a, a course that, that suits you, the self entire. That how's it, he was third last year, I think. How's it going to work yeah. between you? Uh, it depends on what happens during, during the day, but I mean, if the groups go, I think we're going to have to um, maybe go with them. Or uh, we haven't had the tactic yet, or we're just going to try and keep it together and do the sprint for time. I'd, I'd say so, I'm not sure, but anything can happen. You know, the weather conditions are good, it's going to be warm, but it's not wet, it's not really going to be that much wind, so it is looking like uh, it could be a sprint. And how, what's your program for the rest of the, what, for the next two or three weeks? Just um, tomorrow in Wadigan, Harlebecker, and then Flanders Rebecca. And out of all of those races, if you could if you could pick one? Oh, of course it would be Flanders, but... Pretty hard this year, so uh, Albeck is also a nice race, and that's I'd like to go. With. They're, they're all good races, you know. They're all races that if you had a choice, I mean, if you could win them, you'd want to win all of them. But I think if I had a chance, it'd be Flanders. So.